our speaker. Our speaker is Carl Holden, and he is a great friend of mine. I've known him for many years. I have read his book. I am fascinated by the way he thinks about marketing, and I just thought this would be a great opportunity to have him share with our morning audience some things about his platform and his way of doing marketing. If anybody ever heard of the four P's of marketing? All right, good. Hold on to your seatbelt because Carl has got something for you on that. So without further ado, I want to introduce my friend, Mr. Carl Holden of Zealous Marketing. I got 15 minutes and I can be long-winded, so we got to start now. All right, my name is Carl Holden. Uh, I wrote The Invest Method. You'll see the book over here. It is not about money. It is about uh, marketing because it's redone. I love marketing. I run a marketing company, Zealous Marketing. You can look us up. Uh, I work with lots of businesses locally here. I was taught the four Ps in school. And let me tell you, the four Ps was written in 1965. The four Ps of marketing talked about how the new advertising was color television. So marketing is converting a consumer into a customer. And the four, P, the four Ps goes through this huge, long definition. And I'm the kind of person, cut and dry, let's get to the point of what this stuff is. And so marketing is simply taking someone who can be a customer and turning them into a customer. Now, examples I'm going to go through may not be directly business, but just related to our lives because it's more fun that way. So you can also think of marketing as persuasion. So it's convince, convincing a listener into a doer. And uh, that's how we're going to approach this today is kind of about how you persuade people. Uh, if we want success, it's all about persuading people in our information, network, value, experience, strategy, and technology. I've replaced the four Ps. I have thrown them through the proverbial bus and said, please don't teach us stuff uh, from then because let's think price. Price is one of the four Ps. Uh, we all freaked, who freaked out when Netflix increased your monthly bill by like a dollar? Yeah, I did, right? <laughs> Movies have been going up in cost 50 cents every single year and none of y'all said anything. Price doesn't matter. It's value, and so I replace price with value. And we'll go into each of those, but that's just an example of the invest method. So first of all, we'll go into information, because all of marketing, all of persuasion is just about telling people things that they need to know. So there's a best time for you to ask what you want. And so I've created the infograph, which is over time that you are uh, learning about and offering, the purchase likelihood goes up as information is given but our attention only lasts for so long. So the point of the infograph is the conversion point. At what point have you told enough to have that person make the decision to do the thing you want them to do? So as you communicate information, you've got to be thinking about what they need to know to make the decision. And so that's simply uh, the uh, information that we need to know. So I'm going to sell you a pen. Have you ever had a job interview? They're like, and they hold a pen up and say, sell me this pen. Who's actually had that happen to them? This is everything about this pen. Now, if you list all of this, gray, round stick, medium, 5.2 inches long, does anyone start to hear uh, this guy's voice? <laughs> now, what's actually important about this pen? What really sells this pen? It's inexpensive, but not cheap. Now, if I said it in a different voice, you'd be much more inclined to buy it. Inexpensive, but not cheap. <laughs> Two kilometers of writing. You lease it before it dries out. That's all you needed to know, right? This pen sounds way better saying the things you need to know versus all that there is about the pen. So a network is the intersection connection of voices. Networks are organized, not created. You don't create your network. There's lots of people who say, create your network. There's no such thing. You're not creating human beings. Each of these voices helps communicate the fact that what you're trying to do is important. So you've got your individual voices, more than likely you trying to communicate something. You've also got your organizational voice, which are like, you know, companies, anything that lives and breathes by rules and organization, large groups of people. You've got your export, expert voices, your Gary Vaynerchuk voice, your reviews, 
your social medias, your uncollected, unorganized masses of people that say things. If you can get all of these different groups talking about a subject, connecting together about it, then your message will be more powerful. So here's an example. You have to convince your boss of an idea. You have this great idea and you want to tell them this thing you've got, how do you communicate that? So with your individual voice, that's your idea. Organizational voice could be industry facts and reports, expert voice, Jenna the consultant, and then community voice, coworkers, voice, coworkers, opinions, similar products, and reviews. If you can present all of this to your boss from all the different angles of the different groups and voices of people, you'll be able to convince them, hopefully, of your This is one that's probably my most favorite because it's something that's talked about a whole lot. Value is total perceived worth. Value consists of cost, quality, and utility. And what I have done is created a value that helps you understand that all products are positioned within the market. This is the one time you should think inside the box because everything in a market exists within the confines of being in said market. A cost increases along this, quality along this, and utility along this. Cost is what it takes to obtain an item. Quality is, well, the quality of it, whether it's a, a product or how well it is performed within a service. And then utility is what is done for you by getting said thing. So you can think about this as a car market. Used cars, economy cars, Tesla. Everything moves along sort of an upwards, rightwards trajectory within the market. And in thinking about what you are, you've got to figure out where am I perceived within this market? Where is there opportunities within this market? Such as, wouldn't it be awesome if there were like new cars that were like $8,000? So in thinking about anything that you're doing, think about how that value is perceived. It's not that this is exactly how it is because cost isn't just money. What time do you have to uh, communicate that? So getting regular massages. If you need to uh, like convince your loved one that you need to get regular massages, this is how you would do it. It takes $60 to get it one time, but it's only $30 per session the quality is in a mall chair that who knows who's been sitting in that, and then private room, which probably gets cleaned regularly. Your utility for one time is short relief, set appointments long term, because nobody likes getting karate chopped in the back by that guy at the mall. You would rather it feel like this, right? You are communicating the value of that product. Experience is the processing of sensory inputs. So the more senses you involve, the stronger potential for conversion. All of our memories are simply just sensory inputs. If you can think about how to incorporate all of your different senses into your marketing, it will be that much stronger. Go through these last ones really quick. Strategy is improving the congruence between a person offering and a problem. Each of these are overlapping through resolution, realization, and representation as you create marketing that resolves each of these three things, matching these together, anyone who's familiar with geometry, as you move those together, the purchase likelihood increases. But if you just emphasize this one and pull these together, the triangle doesn't increase just through. And last of all, technology, this is super important. Has anyone seen the sales funnel that talks about, you know, that's false. Humans are messy, humans are weird, they take forever to get anything done. This is what it looks like to actually get through our technology. Just accept that technology is a little bit of a mess, and it takes time to get through. We're all mice in this maze trying to get to the juicy, cheesy center of association and transaction. And as you create gates through that maze, like being found in Google, engaging on your website, creating interaction, they showed ads about custom shoes. They knew my weakness. And then the gate was that computer. And then in investigation, I started Googling custom shoes. And then they showed up first. We went in observation. I start looking into their site, looking at what they do. And then interaction. They had little chat pop-ups. Five hours of my life <laughs> twisting this shoe and changing the colors, crafting my perfect shoe. Transaction, it was so easy. And then they sent me lots of emails and 
I, they didn't even tell me to do it. And I posted it on Facebook and I raved about it. And I take my shoe off and be like, look what I did. <coughs> so that is the invest method in 15 minutes. If you have any questions about any of these specific, thank you so much for letting me quickly present the invest method to you today. I'm in Toastmasters, so. Very good. Well, thank you, Carl, for that great presentation. And this is a great group.